What's up everybody, Coach Rick and Coach Derek with another workout of the day. Remember guys, subscribe on our YouTube channel and share with your friends. Today's workout is strength and conditioning plus a core finisher at the end. But first, for the warm up, we've got five minutes to get done with a chipper style warm up. So it starts with a 200 meter run. So you're gonna head out the door, run down and back, maybe 30 seconds down, 30 seconds back. If you don't have a place to run, we're gonna do up downs. All right, so on the up down, we're gonna get 15 of these. This is just a kick back into the plank position. And then Derek's just gonna snap his feet right back underneath the hips and then stand up. If we need to elevate the hands, we can, but the key here is good footwork on the up down. So show one more for us. Notice his feet are staying wide. He's in a good jumping position when he, when he snaps back in. That's the up down. So 15 of those if you don't have a place to run. Then 100 single unders. So we're gonna pick up that jump rope, keep the feet together, just kind of bouncing the balls of the feet. Elbows are tucked in. Wrists right in front of the hips. We've got a hundred of those. If you don't have a jump rope, just do line hops. Find a line on the floor, hop back and forth. All right? So that's the second movement. Then you've got 50 mountain climbers. On the mountain climber, getting that in that plank position. Shoulders are over, if not maybe slightly in front of the wrists. You're just tucking those knees to the chest. We're going to count these one, two, three, four. So 25 on each leg to get to 50. Make sure on these that the hips Stay in line with the shoulders. We're not bobbing up and down, keeping that good plank position. 50 of those. Then 40 jumping jacks. We just want to see long arms. So we're going to touch overhead, touch behind the back. And that jumping jack, we got 40 of those, followed by 20 hollow rocks. This is a pretty tough core movement here. So this is your hollow rock. Just rocking like the bottom of a rocking chair here. All right. If we don't have these, we can always just hold a dead bug for about 30 seconds. So on the dead bug, Pull the ribcage down to the abs, shoulders are off the ground, we're reaching for those toes. That's your chipper warm up. After that, we get right into the strength piece. For our strength workout today, we've got some good old bodybuilding exercises for you. So, we've got three sets of max reps, one minute at three different stations, followed by one minute rest between sets. So, the movements are tricep extensions, bent over rows, and calf raises. On the tricep extension and bent over rows, we're going to get in the same hinge position for both of these movements. So the hips are going to go back. We've just got a slight knee bend and the shins are vertical here. All right, you can see Derek's back is nice and flat and we're going to start with those elbows about 90 degrees for the tricep extension. So from here, all we're going to do is we're going to keep this part of the arm still and from the elbow down is where we're moving. All right, so we're going straight out to parallel with the floor and then back to 90 degrees. Just going both dumbbells at the same time. You got a minute here in this tricep extension. Try to stay in that hinge position the entire time. Then we go straight into the minute of bent over row. We're staying in the hinge position. We're going to start with those dumbbells in full elbow extension in front of the body. Then we're going to pull the elbow towards the back pocket, trying to wrap those elbows around our spine. Key here is to try to pull it to the bottom of your rib cage, not the armpit. We don't want that elbow going out and up. We want the elbow going back and up. All right, so that's our bent over row. You got a minute there. Then you're gonna set those dumbbells down. We've got a stack of plates here. You can use a stair or a stoop, whatever you have for the calf raises. Just get the ball of the foot on the surface, letting those heels come down so we get some dorsiflexion. And then we drive up, point the toes, hold there for just half a second and go up and down. All right, so that's our minute of calf raises. After that, we rest a minute, repeat three times. Guys, if you don't have dumbbells to use, you can always use a backpack, fill it with some items you have around the house, secure it with towels. That'll add some weight. You can make it as heavy or as light as you need to. So for the tricep extensions, let's stand tall. If we're using the backpack, it will go over the head. Just pulling that thing behind the head and then punching the ceiling. Notice how those elbows, this is the joint that's bending. So we're just trying to bend at the elbow, trying not to move that upper arm too much, and we're just extending. That's your tricep extension. Bent over row looks pretty much the same as the dumbbell version. Hinge position, we're pulling that backpack towards the bottom of the chest and extending out in front of our body. That would be the option if you don't have dumbbells. Use a backpack. So for our conditioning workout today, we've got three AMRAPs with rest in between. It's gonna be a couplet each time of up downs and hang power cleans. So six minutes, then 90 seconds rest, then five minutes, then 90 seconds rest, then four minutes, each time the reps go down. 
All right, so for the up downs, we covered those in the warm up. Go back and check out the progression there. The hang power clean, we're going to get in that same hinge position that we saw in the strength piece. And from there, we're going to extend the hips and catch those dumbbells at the shoulder. Okay, so once you think hinge, then jump shrug, and then receive right there. And notice in the receiving position, Derek's got his elbows up. One head of the bell is on the shoulder, the other is off the shoulder, and then we stand up. That finishes the rep before we bring those dumbbells back down. Show a couple more there. Hinge, jump, receive, stand, and then repeat. Okay, that's our hang power clean. So guys, get after this workout today and try to match your rep count in each of those AMRAPs. The time goes down, but the reps go down too, so you should be cycling through them quicker every time you come around. So we've got an awesome five minute AMRAP finisher today. Get those abs popping. We're gonna first start with 20 shoulder taps. On the shoulder tap, you got Coach Derek here to demonstrate. He's just gonna start in that plank position and then tap each shoulder with the opposite hand. Key here, guys, make sure that we're not rotating those hips. So keep a little wider stance in the normal plank, really tighten the abs, squeeze the butt, no shifting back and forth. We'll count these as one, two, three, four, so 10 on each side. After 20 of those, then you got 15 tuck-ups. On the tuck-up, we're gonna start balanced in the tuck position. From there, we're just gonna open up to hollow and then come back to tuck. 15 of these. All right, now if you need to modify this a little bit, we can put those hands on the ground for some extra stability there. That's a scaled version of it. Perfectly fine today. All right, and then alternating dead bugs. So we got 20 of these, so 10 on each leg. We're gonna start in the dead bug position and then right hand, left foot down come back to the middle, and then switch. Nice and controlled here, making sure the shoulders don't touch the floor as we open up. Stay in that hollow position by keeping the rib cage pulled down close to the belly button. Those are the movements today in the five minute core finisher. Guys, have fun with this workout today. Log your scores in comments below and share with your buddies.